so let's talk about um, what you need to do as far as if you need to upload pictures onto Wallsworth. So I'm just here on the blank page here. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible right now. Um, and what I want to do is just upload some pictures that are on my computer right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Photos tab right here. And you'll see that I've actually already created some albums here. So let me go ahead and show you also how to create an album, which at the very least my editor should be able to do. Um, I'll probably let everyone be able to make albums just because it's sometimes easier uh, for you to be able to know what you're uh, making in here. So I've got all these albums. Um, as you can see, I've got things like backgrounds, um, different folders for different people and grade levels, uh, one for just stuff like logos. What I want to do is I want to make a folder that's just um, going to have some pictures that I took around the fields and stuff um, right before the Senior Awards Day this last summer where everything was kind of spooky and empty. So I'm going to say New Album right here. And let's just call it Spooky MVHS Picks. Or I won't even say Picks, we'll just say Spooky MVHS. And so I've done that, and here it is, Spooky MVHS right here, just showed up in alphabetical order. Um, you might not be able to see all of the albums that are on here, because right now it just says My Albums, which means it's allowing me to see um, everything that I've made, which right now is everything. If you want to be able to see all the albums that everyone has made, you click on Photo Albums and they should all be in there. So right, right now it don't, really doesn't make much of a difference, I'm still just seeing everything. So I'm going to once again go into Spooky MVHS because I want to upload pictures. Um, so I'm going to click on Upload Photos to Album and I'm going to click on Choose Photos. Now what I'm probably not going to do is upload every single one. Um, I'm just going to upload a couple for right now. Uh, for two reasons. Um, you don't want to upload an entire batch of pictures that you took first off before you go through and look at them. Now I've already went through and looked through some of these. I know the exact pictures I pretty much want to grab. Um, but if you want to do anything like using Photoshop or any image editing, you need to do that before you upload the picture because Wallsworth's uh, image editor is not great. Alright, this will probably look a little bit different for most of you because I'm on a Mac. I'm just going to go to my pictures, so you just go to wherever you've saved your pictures. It might be in Downloads, Documents, Desktop, whatever. And I've got my pictures here. And I've got a couple specific ones I'm looking for. Um, that was one of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Open. And let's uh, upload another picture. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Now that was just one picture. Let's say I wanted to upload multiple ones at once. So I'm going to say Choose Photos. And this time I'm doing the opposite of what I just said there. I'm just going to upload like a chunk of them at all at once. Um, let's grab like these four right here. So I'm going to click on that first one. I'll grab like five. I'm going to hold shift and click on the last one. That allowed me to get a whole chunk of these all at once. So I clicked on one picture, then I held shift and clicked on the last one. Evidently I've got six. That's just fine. And we'll say open. And we'll say upload. And now it's going to upload those pictures. And sometimes if you try to upload a ton all at once, this is another reason you might not want to do that, is as you can see, it's pretty slow. This is on my home internet, which is faster than the school internet too, so just keep that in mind um, that you might have some waiting to do if you try to upload 50 pictures all at once. So it won't be done until you actually see the word done. Um, not like grayed out like this. Once you can hit the word done, that's how you know that they've actually all uploaded. So right now it's still going. It'll probably get to saying six out of six and then still be grayed out for a second just because that's how it works. Uh, one thing I'll point out while we're waiting for it is notice it says you can upload PNG, JPEG, or TIFF files in RGB or grayscale. We'll get into this a little bit later. Just know that some of you guys might have iPhones that are not taking JPEGs. They take, um, it's, well, it's not a DXF. It's a different file format though that won't upload on here and I'll show you how to fix that. All right, so I uploaded those and now it should be when I come back inside this folder, there's my pictures, they're ready to go. Um, so that's how you can upload pictures into an album. There's my little preview. Now I've got some stuff in there.